Hey guys, okay, so today I'm very excited. Um, I'm gonna do an unboxing on these shoes that I just got. So um, I have a, a my brother's birthday dinner is this weekend and I needed a shoe um, to wear. I'm wearing jeans, but you know, jeans and a heel, you know, something slight. So, I did not want to wear my Louboutins because they hurt. Um, I think that's going to be my next shoe. I currently have the So Kate's, um, the 120 millimeter. I need to get some Pagal Foley's or something because they're just, they're not practical. They're a beautiful shoe, but they're just not practical. So anyway, um, I also wanted a sandal uh, because it's still summertime. So trying to enjoy the last bit of summer. So I got these... Um, jimmy shoes this is the box i literally just took it out they just dropped it off like 15 minutes ago so the box is very pretty this is my first pair of shoes so um the box is cute it's kind of like like marbly and the gold um lettering so it says jimmy chu on the side as well as on this side and this has the style so this is the misty sandal um, it's an ankle strap sandal and the heel height is also 120 millimeter, but it is not as thin as the heel on the 120 millimeter Louboutins and I will do a comparison. Um, and I got a size 10 and a half. Why did I, I, I got a 10 and a half. I usually wear a 10. My Louboutins are a 10, but, but. They did not have a 10, so I opted for the 10 and a half. We're gonna see if it's gonna fit. Um, so I ordered these from Saks, um, just the packing slip and wrapped very pretty, um, you know, basic white tissue paper. It does say Jimmy Choo all over it and you have the dust bag, white dust bag, and then this is the shoe. Oh, they're cute. Okay, so this is the shoe. Um, it's suede, just a basic black ankle strap sandal, which is what I wanted because I want to be able to wear it with a lot of different things. Um, my favorite color is black, so a lot of things that I get are black. Um, I can already tell that it's going to be a lot more comfortable than my Louboutins. They're, when you press down on this sole, there's like a little cushy part. And as you can see, this heel is a lot thicker than the Louboutins. And then also, there's a bit of a platform. So this is what the shoe looks like. Um, the adjustable ankle strap right here. And I will take the other one out. So that's individually so yes this is what they look like it has the um jimmy choo label right here and then your sizing and your jimmy choo under there and it says made in italy if you are looking to authenticate a pair of shoes um so yeah this is what the shoe looks like it's very pretty so now I'm going to show you guys the difference between the Louboutin heel, even though they're the same height, but just the heel width and the chew heel. So give me just a second. Okay, so here is the Louboutin 120 millimeter heel. And then here is the chew. Now, obviously there are two different shoes, two different styles of shoes, but I just wanted you guys to see how skinny this is in comparison to this one. So this is definitely going to feel a lot better than the Louboutin, although this is a beautiful shoe. Um, always just pay attention to the size of the, the, the width of the heel, I should say. So now I'm going to try these babies on and show you all how they fit, especially because they are technically a half size too large for me. Okay, so uh, first of all, please excuse the dog hair all over my floor. Um, I have a lab and they shed like crazy. But anyway, so this is the shoe. Um, upon first trying it on, they are a lot more comfortable um, 
than Louboutins in general. Uh, not just the Socates, but other Louboutin styles I've tried on. As you can see, there's a little gap in the back, and I think that's just because they are technically a half size too big, but it was nothing unbearable, um, nothing that a little um, insert can't fix. And I do like, though, because they are a half size up, that my toes are not so close to the front of the shoe. I just hate the way that looks in um, sandal heels. So the shoe is beautiful and I definitely would uh, recommend them. And this is what they look like on your foot. All in all, I would definitely give these my full support. Um, I would definitely recommend them. They retail for, I believe, about $8.75. Um, I wasn't able to look at the price before I started recording because they're actually sold out on Saks website now. Um, and these suede ones come in black and like a nude tan color. Um, I've seen them though, this style on sale for anywhere between like four and 700 or so. So you can definitely, you know, hunt you down a bargain because 875 is a bit much. Um, but yeah, so I like the shoes. This is the, um, Misty Sandal by Jimmy Choo. Let me see, did they give me some heel caps? Because Louboutin, they throw some extra heel taps in the package. I do not see any. That's, that would be my only thing. Um, there's no extra heel tap, so if this comes off, you're probably gonna have to buy new ones. But outside of that, they are so far a 10 out of 10 for me. And um, I will post pictures on my Instagram in them if you all want to see what they look like in action. That, thank you for watching, and I will be back soon.